Hello students, in this video I am going to explain you about Newton's third law of motion, right? Before this, I explained about Newton's first law and second law and if you have any query or any question about the Newton's law of motion, I request you to comment below and ask your query, I will explain you, okay? Let me explain the Newton's third law of motion, right? To every action there is an equal and opposite reaction okay here I am showing a ball which is falling at an angle thereby coming in the contact of the bottom surface that's why there is a action and reaction interactive force on the contact surface and the ball goes away that means returns due to the reaction of the contact surface this one is explained by the Newton's third law okay we can also state this law as an interaction between two bodies one body exerts a force on another body the second body exerts an equal and opposite force on the first body also right here the force exerted by the first body on the second body is known as action and the force created by the second body on the first body is known as reaction okay according to this law action and reactions are equal in magnitude okay i want to clear one thing that the some forces uh, results from the contact interaction whereas few forces acts at a distance like gravitational force okay okay friend here I am going to explain about the first case which is one is a case of a hose pipe right when a fireman are directing a powerful stream of water they have to hold the pipe strongly because the high speed stream of water rushing out from the pipe exerts a backward pressure on the hand of the man it is because due to the high speed of the water stream rushing out of the pipe okay and this uh, high speed uh, of the water stream exerts a reaction in backward direction the reaction is on the hand of the fireman because it finds a contact okay i told you that whenever a action find a contact it produces a reaction on that contact surface okay due to the interactive action and reaction force arise from the contact surface okay Here I am discussing the case of a boat. When a man jumps out of a boat to the bank of a river, what happens? The boat moves backward away from him. Okay. This is because of the fact that when a man steps out of the boat, he presses the boat with his foot in the backward direction. Right? The push of the man on the boat is actually the action. Right? The boat exerts an equal force on the man in the forward directions which enables the man to move forward right this force exerted by the boat on the man is reaction okay since the boat is floating on the water and not fixed it moves backward to the action of the force exerted by the man okay this one is the third case i am discussing about the bicycle right actually we don't know that the ease we get from the reaction of the ground while cycling okay it is because of the newton's third law right when the man pedals the bicycle the wheel as shown here in the image exert a pressure on the ground that means it creates an action against the grounds right in return the ground also create a reaction according to the Newton's third law of motion okay that uh, adds or supports the bicycling process of the man okay we feel the ease while bicycling due to the Newton's third law okay okay students all these we are about the Newton's third law of motion okay if you have any query then comments in the description sections right thank you